previously on the Youth Edition. Passes it off. He's got Cozy. Cozy takes the game on. Cozy shoots. Cozy scores. Get the fuck in there. One all. Children Town back in the game. And Cozy, man, this kid. Well, we've he's been brought in recently. Only played a handful of games. And. Uh, the youth edition with Cheltenham Town. Uh, we're sitting in 8th, which is uh, quite surreal. Uh, we've moved up to Legendary in the last couple of episodes, and uh, as long as we keep getting draws and points, it's that tight that we could be in with a sniff of promotion. I don't really want to get promoted this year, but um, we'll just see. We'll play it by ear. Maybe we'll uh, pay some money under the table to lose it out if we do make uh, you know, a finals run. But uh, yeah, no no player upgrades once again. I am re uh, pre-recording this episode a couple of days in advance. So um, yeah, let's get into the episode. All right, here we go. Game number one of the episode sees us being hosted by the Wickham Wanderers. And uh, a little bit of a change to the lineup today. Obviously, we've got a lot of injuries coming through the team at the moment. But uh, Cooper finally moving out of that striking role, back out to his accustomed right midfield, right wing position. And uh, the young Japanese centre forward, Minami, or Minami, I would assume the pronunciation is Minami, but I think we'll call him Minami. Uh, and he will be starting the game here in the forward striking role. He's a 49 overall centre forward. Uh, he's got a bit of pace about him, but once again, no finishing whatsoever. I think he's got 38 finishing, so it'll be really interesting to see if he can provide anything up front for us today. There's the Wickham side. I don't really care too much about it. But there is Minami's. I think he's 5'10". Uh, has about 70-odd uh, acceleration. His sprint speed's in the 60s somewhere. So uh, hopefully he can create some opportunities up forward and, and really get us pushing forward in the season. Here is our starting lineup. We've got Price, Vermeulen, Dujimont, Aleski, Ivanov across the back. Uh, in the midfield is Tasev and Vestrate. And we've got Elfie Alexander, Kosi in the cam roll. Cooper back out on the right now. And Minami up front. Let's do this, Kosi. Slips it down the line. Oh, Mini Cooper's made the run. Can he finish this one? No, good save from Brown. In this part of the pitch. Oh, great challenge. Oh, referee. Come on, son. Free kick here for Wickham in a very threatening area. I'm going to try and get back on the line to help out. But it doesn't matter. It's over the top. Can Cooper do it justice? Cooper. Oh, he's hit the sidebar. Unreal free kick there from Coops. But just not enough hook on it. He got it round the wall. And he's hit the sidebar. Cooper. Oh, save from Brown. Well, Coop's starting to get a bit of a range on his free kicks, which is good. Still yet to score one, but a good couple of efforts so far in this game. Uh-oh. What? Are you serious? That was piss poor defending from the lads. And Wicker finally striking the 34th minute. Dujimon got turned inside out. No one marking him whatsoever. Completely unopposed. Just taps it down. And Price, he probably should have done a lot better on that. And now it's 1 0 to Wickham. And there's half time at 1 0 to Wickham. Oh no, they're through again. Oh, fuck me! I didn't even fucking touch him! You stupid cunt! Oh, fuck off, man. That is a bullshit fucking decision. Fuck me, we're getting reamed here. Fuck's sake, 2 0. Fuck off. Restarting at 2 0. There's Bruin. He's just come on, some fresh legs, trying to work their way down the wing. Cuts back through the middle nicely. He's getting a run from Anwar, but he decides to take it himself. He's done well there. He slips it through. It's Elfie Alexander. Can he finish? Get in, lad! Fucking get in! Elfie Alexander scores. It's 2-1, but it's probably too late. Great counter-attack football there from Cheltenham. A great ball inside, and Elfie Alexander manages to finish it. That is his third goal for the season. 
And the young Australian hits the back of the net. The keeper absolutely stuck like a deer in the headlights. Alexander does the shot justice. We finally finish one. And it's 2-1. Slips it through. Here's Minami. Turns on his man. Oh, take him down. Ref! Where's my fucking kick? For fuck's sake! Don't fall over that fucking easy. And there's full time. So we lose 2-1. Come on, boys. Well, they definitely outplayed us with 10 shots to 5 and heavy possession. And our man of the match, well, Bruin with an 8.2 was outstanding. Playing on that right-hand side once Cooper went off. So now Alfie Cooper is out for three weeks with a sprained ankle. They're dropping like flies here at Cheltenham Town. And we have Southampton coming up in the next game in the EFL Cup. Fuck me. All right, here we go, St. Mary's Stadium, round four of the EFL Cup. And, uh, well, injuries have struck here at Cheltenham Town, so we've moved up to legendary. We're into the round of 16 somehow. Obviously playing on world class, but now we're on legendary. We're going to be taking on Southampton, and, and our squad is deteriorating by the game. So uh, it's going to be very interesting to see how we go here. I'm going to try... Well, Lone Car's even going to play in the sticks today. I'm going to put Price on the bench. We've got two keepers on the bench for reserves because we've got nothing else left uh, to bring in as, you know, reserve players. So, uh, yes, I, I have a feeling this will be a very tough ask here for Cheltenham Town. Uh, the Southampton South side, well, it just a screams talent compared to what we're putting out on the park today. Uh, looks like they're sending out a semi, semi full strength side, so maybe something they've underestimated us a little bit, but you wouldn't really think that we would be able to do too much. Here's our starting sign low car between the sticks for Mulan Dujimont, Alexki, and Ivanov across the back. Uh, then we have Anwar and Tasev. Alexander Brankovic, Bruin, and Minami up front. All right, let's see if we can make some more inroads. If we can get through this, it would be absolutely insane. I will try our hardest. Let's do this. Brankovic does well, though. Here's Minami. Rips it out wide. Bruin's found a little bit of space. It's not going to be a pace game here. Here's Anwar. Slips it off. Minami turns his man. It's Minami. Can he get the shot off? He can. It's gone in! It's fucking gone in! Minami! Get in, lad! Oh, my God! History being rewritten here. The little Japanese striker. A little bit of katsu chicken on the end of it. Drops a little bit of teriyaki sauce. And bang! Into the back of the net. An absolute scud bucket. Probably a little bit of rain on it as well. He slips it past Taylor. And it's fucking 1-0 Cheltenham Town. Get in, lad. What is going on here? What a goal by Minami. What a way to make your fucking name for the team. Zeshin Minami. Oh, Alexander's been wrecked, but play on. It's turned into a bit of a muscle game here. Good challenge from Anwar. Bruin. Brankovic out to Minami. Come on, son. He's done well there. Minami, no strength. It was a free kick. Oh, great challenge from Bruin. Go, son. Go, son. Whips it off. Brankovic, get in! Two fucking nil children town! Come on! Yes, lad! Fucking hell! Come on, Cheltenham! Southampton absolutely starstruck here. Bruin with a great challenge. Defends past the defender, whips it inside. Brankovic with the first fucking touch. Smacks it home past the keeper. Just a finesse little finish. Did it take a deflection? Not too sure, but the keeper's having a howler of a day here at St. Mary's Stadium. It's fucking Cheltenham Town! Get in, lad! And there's half time at 2 0 to Cheltenham Town. Come on! Here comes Southampton. Here comes the cross, and Ivanov just clears it out. Great work. Come on, lads. Oh, yes, Alexander. Go, Brankovic. Oh, Rex from behind. Ref! And Doty did well. Here's Lemons. He's got Tekkers working for him out wide. Tekkers. Oh, that's a beautiful move from Tekkers. Oh, go, son. You've got to finish. What a save. Finally, the keeper does something. What a run there from Tekkers. And we've got the corner. Cheltenham Town coming up big here. Giant killers. 
Tech has put someone in too close to the keeper. It's fallen, and Doni's going to get and clean this up. He whips it off. Tassif slips it into the Lemons. Come on, Lemon. Take the game on. Cuts back. Feeds it off. It's Minami. Oh, blocked. Taking it on here, Techers. It Slips here. it inside. Minami! Oh, save from Taylor. And Cheltenham relishing this opportunity to take on a Premier League side. Techers with a good ball inside. Minami almost pulled off a miracle. And there it is. Yes, we've beaten Southampton. Legendary. Taken down. And Cheltenham Town on a massive cup run here. Oh, what a bunch of giant killers we have. So seven shots to two. We absolutely brought our game today. And having a look at our best player. Well, Anwar had an 8.5 controlling the midfield. I thought Minami did very well up front. Bruin was great on the right-hand side. Brankovic with an 8.2 as well. Just an all-round performance. Even Lone Car gets himself a clean sheet. All right, here we go. Game number three of the episode. Cheltenham Town hosting Barnett. And, uh, well, that was an unbelievable win against Southampton. The lads are tired, though. We'll see if they have a little bit of heart to uh, continue this run of form here. Come on, lads. Chopped off the ball. Oh, Minami with the tackle. Tassiv takes the strike. Stevens with the save. Easy decision All right, it's a free kick referee. here, and it's going to be Ivanov to have a red-hot crack. A yellow one. Yeah, oh, oh, how has he saved that off the line? Unbelievable save. Oh, we're starting to get our radar here on the free kicks. What a cracking save from the goalkeeper, and now we have a corner. Kosi whips in. It's up. Kosi whips it off. Ivanov. Oh, that's shit. Oh, great challenge from Kosi. Come on, son. Does well. Still going, Kosi. That's a great touch. Feeds it inside. Minami turns his man. Tasev. Oh, ref! Call something. And there it is. Half time at nil all. Oh no! It's fucking Akinde. Akinde surprise has done the job there, and uh, he is the bane in my existence. Cutsy beat me in a foot game with him. Seven fucking nil. And now he has put the coffin nail in here for Barnett. Ah, oh, that is terrible. That is fucking terrible. Come on, lads. Corner for Cheltenham. Cozy. Rips it in. Aleski controls it. It's fallen to Tassiv. Oh, what a save. Another corner. Come on, we just need to find the net here. Deep into the box. Duji. No, Aleski. And it's fucking Stevens again. Another cracking save. Passes it off to Tassev. Oh, went looking for Minami Looked again. Very good indeed, but the move has broken down. Oh, Alexander. To off to Minami. Get in! Yes, Minami! Katsu Chicken at its best. Oh, mate, he's got a black belt in origami because he's fucking got himself in a position there. Slaps it past the keeper. His second goal. And it is one all. Cheltenham Town back in the game. The little Japanese forward has done the job there. Get in, lad. He'll be on the sake tonight. Tekkers. Lemons. Back to Tekkers. Slips it out to Brankovic. Does well, Brankovic. Slips it off. Minami. Oh, just nothing left. And Tony does well, though. Lemons. Minami. He's in. Minami. Oh, too soft a shot. And cleared away. Oh, Lemons does well. Slips this one forward. Brankovic with the fresh legs. Gets picked off by Nelson. Brankovic gets back in. Feeds it off to Vermeulen. He goes to Tekkers. Oh, we're on the attack, ref. Why are you blowing your fucking whistle? And it's a one-all draw. Well, ten shots to six in a pretty tough game for Cheltenham Town. And uh, our man of the match, well... Minami, 8.3. All right, it's time for a U Squad monthly report. It is November. Grigor Lampros is a 74 to 82. Uh, Liam O'Connor is a 75 to 83. Delegiana, 73 to 77. Uh, Wazinski, 74 to 94. Looking promising there. Yes, he's got some pace. Let's hope that potential stays up. 
And Thighs is a 72 to 78. Right, monthly scouting update from Scotland brings us back Riley Taylor, a 64 to 86. And Kirk Wilson has no face, so who will be rejected? In Germany, we bring back a 68 to 92. And uh, regardless of anything else, normally I'd leave him for another month, but uh, we need players, so we'll assign him to the Youth Academy, six foot one. And Borman is not gonna make the cut, but I'll just leave him there for now. And Croatia, well, Viktor Pet Pet Petkovic, uh, 62 to 84. And uh, Goran Bazu, 53 to 71. All right, let's have a look at some of the squad rankings. And uh, Alfie Cooper is still our best player at the moment. But uh, who do we want to give? I think it's time. I think Alexki. Or, nah, let's let's do the goalkeeper. Toby Price, he is our number one goalkeeper. He's been in some pretty good form. He deserves the next kit upgrade. All right, so here's Pricey. Uh, he really needs something done about those gloves for starters. But uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, he gets the number one at the moment. I'm pretty happy to leave that number on him, but you can change it if you like and uh, Let me know what you want me to do with his goalkeeping kit, right? So we've slipped back to 12th. That's how tight this bloody competition is uh, With the loss and the draw there, so we need to well, we beat, we beat Southampton 2-0 So we shouldn't be struggling too much here in our league two uh, but Barnett are in six, so they're definitely a tougher opposition. They're, they're playing quite well. But that's where we're going to leave it. Hopefully you're really enjoying this series. And uh, leave me some comments down below on your thoughts on how everything's going. We'll see you in the next episode. I'm Sparring DK. It's 5 o'clock somewhere. And you have a good one. So who will the player of the match be as that stupid message is still on the screen? It is Harry Giles. 19.7 rebounds and...